When compared to tradition fallacy, is one fallacy or error in thinking used by people of certain cultures to protect their cultures, even if the cultures are and, and the traditions, the traditions of the culture are unjustifiable. One example is when Chinese people say that they, because of tradition, have the right to kill dogs and cats for a Yuan festival. Another was when slave masters used the just the excuse that since uh, since since uh, Peter uh, sent the slave back to his uh, master in the Bible. It is okay to justify to uh, kill, uh, yeah, to kill an exploiter, but because he rationalized that it is okay to exploit black people because the Bible says so. He also makes the excuse. Morality is subjective. By that logic, we can also uh, kill a lot of people because I'm a misanthrope. I now do, according to your logic. Uh, do people like vegans or I, how in general, don't like humans so much? Right. Okay. I compare to uh, one other example is when people say that since people have eaten animals for generations, it is okay to eat animals today, according to this reason, line of reasoning. We also don't have to stop people from harming other people, because this is also done since the earliest of time. You hope, I hope that you understand that this reasoning is arbitrary and no justification for continuing to abuse other animals. Because it don't matter that you took, that you are Called your say that is okay. That is not one indicator that it is okay. If you are not a victim, don't imagine it entirely from your point of view. Because if you are not the victim, it becomes pretty easy to mock you. Victims make fun of their entire existence, label them stupid and dirty. But when you're not a victim, things go on different from that angle. But do well to clear down for to black so for or more than 400 years. Look what we have done for to women for centuries. I speak here to man. Look to what uh, Turkish people have done to Jews for centuries and to Hindus and what uh, they are also wants to do with the pyramids in Egypt and with the Sphinx. If you are not the victim, don't mention it entirely from your point of view. It is time to learn some humility by watching things from the victim's point of view. Instead of picking and choosing to which to be kind whenever it pleases you. That's not moral. That's immoral. And if this state 
movement is shocking or controversial for you. I might think that this statement was also hard and controversial for people like Hammond, the slave master. When the abolitionists first say that slavery was not okay, an abomination. Understand you? What I have to say? Understand you? What I have to say? But yeah. What's the excuse for custom the least amount of harm possible on this planet? I'll be speaking. You don't have to be Einstein to figure out that animal exploitation industries are not only evil to animals who are not belonging to our species. You don't have to be Einstein to figure out that animal husbandry or slavery is destroying our rainforest. You don't have to be Einstein to figure out that any day when area with the size of New York City is cut for hamburgers for flesh from murdered living beings mainly because of animal slavery There's no excuse against feeding this for the way you are living Make a plea and move forward. Eat beans, eat lentils, eat legumes. Check my or the Instagram of some other vegans for their inspiration. There are many vegan recipes on YouTube. For food we eat, actually, it is not vegan food, it is food vegans eat. I think that's the m more accurate way of speaking about this topic. About this kind of food. Because veganism is not a diet, it is a moral imperative. 